YouTube. What's the deal? It's time to get real with Jahaira. It's time to get real with Jahaira. YouTube. YouTube, what's the deal? It's your girl Jahira, and I am back. It's been forever. <laughs> Hi, y'all. So I, um, I'm coming at you at sort of a late hour um, because I wanted to talk to y'all about something, and I'm soliciting the advice of my subtastics. I know I have a crap ton to catch you up on. You should probably see more head and less chest. But here's the thing. I miss y'all. <laughs> That's not the thing, but it's true. I miss y'all. Um, I had plenty of intentions on making videos, but uh, my grandmother passed away a little over a month ago. And on the 29th of July. And it's been um, hard. It's been really hard. Nonetheless, I wanted to come to y'all and have a bit of a dialogue because I could use some advice. So here's the thing. Again, I am single. I am single. I am single. Lol. I am George Washington to the bullshit. Like, I'm all the way single, right? And, and there are, you know, there's some people... <laughs> The, you know, the, there are possibilities. I will say that. There are definite possibilities. There's those whom I flirt with on a regular basis. There's um, someone that I've really developed feelings for. You know, like genuine feelings. But, you know, nobody has, like, locked it down. There's no official title or status or or anything of, along those lines. But But here's the thing. as I like my confidence booster. Um, I want to know how y'all approach being single. Because um, they, they, I, I've just... There's a bit of conflicting opinions with regard to single women's behavior. Now, I'm personally of the opinion that so long as nobody has established a concrete desire to be in a relationship with me that I can continue to behave as a single person. Now, let me just throw a caveat in here. I, I'm not talking about being, like, indiscriminately sexually active because that's just not anything that I would partake in. What I'm talking about is single behavior, flirting, getting to know people, Weighing the pros and cons of, of, you know, the potential of a future relationship with somebody. Um, freely fantasizing without having some, like, singular point of interest in mind. You know, things along those lines. Just kind of, like, testing the waters. You know, casting the lines, seeing what bites. Stuff like that. Like, the process of narrowing down who it is that you may want to be involved with. That's how I approach being single. There is another approach, which I've also been, you know, heard of and have been informed about. Not to say it's such a novel idea, but, you know, there, there's another thought or, or line of thinking which dictates that when there is somebody with whom you could potentially see a future with, you should be very, like, myopically focused on that one person. And not necessarily pay attention to any others. And, and and I don't know. I don't... That's kind of what the dilemma is. Is that the way y'all feel, or do you feel sort of more so my line of thinking? Because me personally, I am at, at a pretty tumultuous place in life. There's a lot of things in flux, you know. My living situation, my career path, you know, there's just a lot of things that could go a number or a myriad of different ways. But what I do know for sure is that I am ready, I am absolutely prepared for my forever love. 
like the 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 be all and end all, you know, proverbial ride off into the sunset kind of love. Um and and in order to arrive at that place, I really feel like I need to you know, weigh other people's personalities against mine and seeing if they coincide. I mean, I don't know of another way to do that because my thought process is really like you could spend all that time and all that energy honed in on one specific person and then if that one specific person doesn't work out for whatever reason, like, what do you have left? You know, I mean, for me, it, it's not cheating because there is no established partnership. There's no established union. If I got to that place and continued this behavior, that would be one thing. That would be pretty freaking reprehensible in my eyes. Like, that just would not happen. But right now, when I'm free and not tied down and, and hoping to be, looking to be, wishing I was, I, I feel like I kind of need to diversify my portfolio. <laughs> it sounds horrible when I say it like that. Do y'all hear Teeny? This is my dog having a dream. He barks in his sleep. Why does that... Okay, never mind. But yeah, y'all, that's the dilemma. I'm not even going to keep you that long. I'm going to keep this real short and sweet. That's just kind of where I'm at. So I'd love to know where you were at with it. Like, what's your take on this? When you are interested in a person, do all other potential people fall by the wayside? Or do you emotionally consider other options while awaiting for a monogamous, uh, monogamous relationship to be established? Let me know. <laughs> and I will be back a lot sooner than uh <sighs> then I have been. I love you. I'm always thinking of you and praying for you. Be well and forever and always. One love.